Chapter 3, Mako's First Battle As Mako journeyed into the bushland, he looked all around him for the missing pieces of his armor. Mako looked high and Mako looked low. He searched everywhere he could see. And as he searched, he nearly ran into an old lady standing on the path in the bush. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. I, I was so busy looking for God's armor that I didn't see you. Oh, that's fine, young man. In fact, you are just the person I'm looking for. Mako was surprised. I have here a basket of delicious mouth-watering candies. You don't need to find Yama. Why don't you give up looking for that silly stuff and eat some of my sweeties? Well, I'm pretty tired, Mako said. I could use a break and maybe I'll just have one little sweet. Mako chose a colorful piece of candy and put it to his mouth. It tasted terrible. Mako looked up at the old lady, but suddenly he was feeling dizzy. Before he could say anything, Mako collapsed. <laughs> said the old lady, who was actually the great big scary guy in disguise. Our evil plan worked! Oh, pirate, come and help me carry our visitor into your cave. <laughs> The pirate and the scary guy tied Mako up and took him as prisoner to the pirate's cave. Hello? Whoa, whoa, calm down. It's going to be okay. Stop crying. Mako will be fine. Everything will be okay. You just have to let me finish the story. Sorry about that. When Mako woke up, he found himself in chains in a dark, scary cave. He remembered the old lady and the candy. I've been tricked, he thought. The candy must have been poisoned. This must be a trap by the great big scary guy to keep me from finding the armor. Mako looked around him to find a way to escape, but he was trapped securely in the cave. Mako was filled with despair when suddenly he heard a tiny sound from behind him. He turned to look, thinking it was his enemy, but instead he saw a tiny little mouse. Mako, said the mouse, I am here to help you. You may think you are trapped, but you still have weapons you can use. I don't have any weapons, said Mako. I was captured before I found any said the mouse. You still have truth and you can do the right thing. You can have faith and you can have peace. These are the weapons that will free you from the scary guy's trap. Just then, a sound came from outside the cave. I must leave, said the mouse. Remember what I have told you, Mako. The mouse scurried away and the scary guy and his pirate entered into the cave. <laughs> <laughs> they taunted Mako. We have trapped you, Mako. Where is your mighty armor now? You have nothing. Now we will destroy you forever. Mako was shaking with fear. He tried to remember what the mouse had told him. With a great effort, he managed to squeak out, That's a lie. The scary guy and the pirate froze. What did you say? Mako was more confident now. You are lying. The truth is that you cannot harm me. I still have the helmet of salvation. I belong to God and he is taking care of me. You stop, not the truth. The pirate screamed. Mako could now stand up. I will keep searching for the rest of this armor. I will not be afraid of you and your lies. I believe in God and I will walk in his peace and not worry. As Mako spoke, he realized that he was no longer defenseless. He was now clothed in four new pieces of armor. He broke the chains off his wrist. I am leaving now to search for my last piece of armor. 
You shall not go, shouted the scary guy. Quick, the gun of fire. The pirate grabbed the gun and shot flames at Mako. But Mako blocked them easily with his new shield and walked out of the cave. And so Mako continued to search for his last piece of armor. Defeated and angry, the scary guy and the pirate sat down to plan one final way to defeat Mako forever.